Today I want to show you how to set up automation in TradeStation 10 using a mock strategy that you can download below. And so what you want to do is you want to uh, create the chart at ESM19 to set up the strategy. You can download it below. I'm going to show you the easy language for this strategy as well. It's called HFT test. Simply alternates long and short trades on every other bar with no particular rules other than alternating trades. So make sure you're logged into SIM account. Do not trade this live. It is a losing strategy, but it trades on every bar. It will submit a trade on every bar, and that's what we want to get a feel for automation. You don't want to trade a strategy that trades once every three days to get a feel for automation. You want something that trades frequently in SIM mode so you can get a feel for automation. So I inserted that strategy. I imported it into my TradeStation Easy Language Editor, and now I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to add to the chart. So you right-click, you go to Studies, and then you go to add strategy and this is called HFT test and so you select OK and right now we're going to come back to this I'm just going to say OK for now and you see all the signals the red are the shorts the blue are the longs and you see all the trades alternating trades on every other bar and once again do not trade this strategy with live money just get a feel for automation and so you see the, the straight it alternates every other bar. You could make this every 15 second bar, every one second bar, and it would operate very quickly. One tick bar would operate very, very quickly. And um, you could see how automation works. Uh, you could also up the time frame to 5, 10, 15 minutes if you want, just, just to see how it works. And so what we do to automate this strategy, now that you see it on the chart, you see up here in the next to the symbol, you see SA, which means strategy automation. This is gray. When we turn on strategy automation, this box up here in the upper left hand corner will be green. And so right click and go to um, studies and you want to go to edit strategies. And so here you see this window that we were, we were again and you want to click on generate strategy orders for display and trade manager strategy orders tab. Now you can do this without actually turning on automation. So if you want to track the strategy in the trade manager, you can click this and strategy automation will not be on. But in order to turn on strategy automation, you must check this box. Next, you want to check this box and you select the account that you trade in. And you also have to select I agree. Once again, this is a SIM mode only type of a strategy. Do not trade this with live money. I'm in, I've logged in on the SIM SIM side and I'm doing this in SIM mode just to get a feel for how automation works on a very frequent basis and then account with confirmation you select off unless you want to manage each trade and confirm each trade you select off and then you select I agree now automation will be on once you select OK some other settings that I recommend under properties for all um, automation click this click this and I select these from 0 to 3 seconds this strategy does not use limit orders, so it doesn't really matter, but I use this by default. And then if you want to mul automate multiple strategies on the same symbol, you must click on this box in each, in each workspace window, each chart that you have a strategy. So for example, if I want to automate 10 other strategies with ES M19, this must be checked on each one of them or you will get an error. So you do that and then you select OK. Would you like to disable? No, we don't want to disable. Um, sometimes when it senses a change, it will ask you if you want to disable just to verify. It just wants to make sure you want automation on. So you select no. And so I'm going to select OK, and it's going to automatically take the position of your strategy in TradeStation 10. That is one of the differences between TradeStation 9.5 and TradeStation 10. So select OK. And on this, most people read this wrong. It says exit this position. This means exit this position based on automation. Most people get this wrong and say do not exit this position. So if you select do not exit this position, it won't exit the position based on automation and it will take the next trade. It will take the next trade, but it won't exit the current trade based on automation. So it depends on if you want to sync up with this strategy now or on the next trade. If you want to make sure you're in sync with the current trade, you would say exit this position and make sure that you have this trade right now we're flat so you would say exit this position 
if you want to sync up with this trade and then if we're if you're not currently in a position and it doesn't if it doesn't automatically get you long then you would quickly put in a long trade you would go long and you would say exit Order this position field. and so if you do not want to exit this position um, you take the next trade you say do not exit this position so you want to say exit this position you can see on since we turn on automation it automatically synced up and so we want to sync up with this and say exit this position be sure to read this dialogue on this most people see this wrong select do not exit position and then the trades unmanaged they get in the trade and then it's not managed by automation so say exit this position and it'll exit it by automation so the strategy is short trade station 10 automatically got you short your short one on the next time on the next bar it's going to flip it's going to go long and so it's going to buy two to go long and so it'll buy one to cover the short and it'll buy another one to get net long so this strategy flips from net short to net long on every single bar and so um, let's watch this trade happen as it flips from long Order. to short. Yeah. So it it went from short to long, and you see the position up here, long one. Now you may not see the position graph up here. By default, this is how TradeStation. I'm going to show you how how this is, but Trade TradeStation auto hides this. So if you don't see the position, if you don't see what position you're in, you go to position graph, and you can see it. Then click on this arrow and say an uncheck auto hide and then it will stay there. Notice the box is green now because you're in strategy automation mode. And so play with this. Use this strategy to understand automation. If you really want to see this happening fast, you can right click and you can go to data and you can go to edit symbol and you can say uh, tick, one tick bar. And it's going to go really fast. I'm going to close the order current position. Field. And I'm going to say no to disable strategy automation. Order, order, order field. And so you select exit this position. So you're just constantly exiting. Order, 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 see, see, it's just constantly going. It's too too fast. Do not do this in a live account. You're, we're already down uh, We're already down quite a bit today. Uh, Eight hundred eighty-six dollars. We're down. If you do this, we're down a thousand. Down thirteen hundred. Order, order filled. You're gonna lose order your money rejected. really quickly order if rejected. you um, trade this strategy with live money. Order you see the filled. closed PNL at the bottom. Filled. We're already down fifteen hundred. So don't trade this uh, with live money. Trade this in a um, in a sim account. Order filled. This is just order too. Filled. This is too happy. Order, order filled. I want to order change this rejected. back to minute. Order, order rejected. Order filled. So don't even trade this on one tick charts because it's way too fast to even. It's way too fast to even um, manage in, in one minute on one tick chart. So make sure you do this on one minute charts. Order so that field. so that got out of hand really quick. I put it on one minute charts to resynchronize. Do not try to trade one tick charts um, with a uh, fast order entry setup like this. It's not going to work in a retail trading platform. I trade mainly one minute charts and above, and so that works great in TradeStation. And this is how you set up automation. Additional settings I want to show you: right click data. Um, actually right right click settings and you can look at account orders and positions if you check this notice right now you're seeing all the arrows that's the strategy when you click this you'll see the actual trades and the actual fills you're gonna see a lot of trades in here because we just did this on one tick charts and it was crazy and so you can see a lot of bubble fills and not to be confused with strategy signals so watch this so it's it's loading the the mouse is spinning to show you all the all the trade signals you see Order all the trade field. signals in here I'm going to turn the trade signals off again so you can see the difference between a tr uh, an arrow signal which is an actual trade in the bubble which is the actual fill so right click and go to settings settings account orders and positions and then uncheck the box and say okay alright and so that is that is how you set up automation in TradeStation 10. 
our effort to do one tick charts was was pretty crazy so don't don't do one tick charts but trade these trade this on one minute chart in sim mode only to learn how to do automation to get a feel for automation before you go live